One day, a group of penguins were enjoying themselves in the icy tundra. The penguins like to swim and play and generally do whatever it is most penguins do. There was one particular penguin, however, who was different than the rest. And he also was the littlest penguin. Welcome to the Littlest Penguin, a Newgrounds game. Let's see here. Click in. Okay, there we go. The Littlest Penguin liked the other penguins well and fine enough, albeit in small doses. He was much more interested in going on adventures, and he felt that today could possibly be his best adventure yet. Just then, he discovered a very old, very sick penguin lying next to a large stone. Won't you please help me? cried out the old penguin. I'm very sick and I'm very old. Please, won't you help fulfill an old penguin's request? The littlest penguin agreed and was horrified by what the old penguin said next. Bash my head in with this stone. End my pain, Littlest Penguin. The Littlest Penguin did as he was told. I know. Something began to stir inside the Littlest Penguin after that. Suddenly, a rush of emotions he had never known filled him, thrilled him like nothing had ever done before. This feels like heaven cried out the littlest penguin, who set out freshly driven to give a new direction to his adventure. If killing just one penguin felt that good, he thought to himself, I wonder how it would be if I killed ten penguins. And off he went to test his theory. This way? <laughs> Tell me to go back. <laughs> Oh god, this is making of a murderer penguin edition. What? Where'd you get that? Upon a small group of his peers. This will do, he thought to himself. And the first one went down quickly. Far easier than the Litmus penguin would have thought. This spooked the others. But to his surprise, the Litmus penguin found the more they ran, the greater his satisfaction when he finally beat them down. And beat them down he did until the last of them were reduced to little more than a red stain in the snow. God, I knew about clubbing seals, but not penguins. Anyone watch the Flintstones? Bam Bam! <laughs> As he moved through the crowd in order to reach the other side, the Littlest Penguin felt the eyes upon him. The other penguins began to grow weary of him, shifting their gaze as he walked by. I do not like the way they stare at me, thought the Littlest Penguin. I do not like it one bit. Perhaps, after I kill them all, I shall make a fine necklace of their eyes. This thought occupied the Littlest Penguin as the others wobbled nervously around him. And perhaps, a crown made from their beaks so all can see and marvel at how beautiful I am. I'm thinking something's wrong with this penguin here. I'm thinking something's wrong. Oh, there are little dips in the land there. Huh. Oh, hey, a research station. Arctic Research Center. Outpost number 0450.
This was more like it, thought the liquid <laughs> He could now return to the other penguin. Oh, God. On his plan, the thought of which triggered an excitement he could hardly contain. How would a penguin even hold a chainsaw? Oh, God. And the music changes. Oh god, they just... They just fall in half. Again he would slash at them and again they would cry out. Some attempted to vainly cram their entrails back in snow. Others simply fell apart where they stood. The lipless penguin was thrilled. Oh, how he wished this moment could last forever. The rapture that pulsed inside of him. He could no sooner explain the magic behind his elation any more than he could bring himself to stop. Not until every last penguin had been split apart. Is that the end? <laughs> um, for a game titled The Littlest Penguin, I wasn't expecting something like this. Oh gosh. Yep, that was the end. Huh. When the last of them had finally stopped twitching, and he no longer felt the eyes upon him, the littlest penguin stopped. Breathing heavily, he surveyed the destruction he had wrought. They were all so beautiful now. Too beautiful, in fact. The ecstasy felt by the littlest penguin slowly faded, and an undeniable sense of emptiness began to take its place. It's not fair. They are all so beautiful now. Why can't I be beautiful like them? Why must I be the only one? It isn't fair. It just isn't fair. The littlest penguin looked at the chainsaw. The blood dripped off the teeth of the blade, almost glistening in the moonlight. Suddenly, the littlest penguin knew how to feel beautiful like the rest. He knew then what it was he must do. Trying to think of commentary on this, but what? <laughs> what is? Oh, spacebar starts me back at the beginning. Okay. Thank you everybody for watching. Drop a comment down below. I have. Is I have no idea about this. <laughs> I mean, it sure has some shock factor on it. So, I will see you all next time.